Blackhawks, or if you make six errors, you're lucky to even be in the game. And we didn't have a bunch real well. And uh, kind of was a difference in the game. Uh, not only defensively not handling the bunt, uh, not being able to get a bunt down ourselves, could have changed the game. I mean, something else still got to happen after that. Uh, I would like to find out, but you know, it's one of those things. But uh, I thought our guys battled to the end, even though we played poorly defensively, especially that one inning. And um, you can't make six errors against a good team like Delta State. Numbers wise, Nate didn't look that bad. He got out of that first inning with what I think uh, thanks to a really good guy to handle on two runs. Um, what's your thoughts on Nate today? Yeah, he does what he always does. He gives you a chance. Uh, you know, a little apprehensive there early. Um, thought he threw more strikes than that were called early on there, and both those guys ended up scoring. You know, on the wall, but uh, settled in, kept some good hitters off base throughout the, the rest of the game. Um, just want to go ahead and make a change. When we did, uh, you're still effective. Sometimes you go to the mound, you know, take the pitcher out, but you'd like to take the infielders out. But you <laughs> take the pitcher out. Was that a season high, six errors? Uh, if we, we've been like the girl with a little curl at times. If we were good or good, for bad or bad, and we tend to make them, I don't want to say it's panic or anything, and just kind of go, I mean, there were some tough plays there on the bunts, and right on the line, and then the runner bearing down. And, um, we may have made that many before uh, because we've been bad at times just in a particular minute. It's not typical. But, but overall, you've been a pretty steady feeling team. Right? Yeah, I've been real steady. That's kind of what we do. You know, and if we fall apart, it's kind of like what happened today. But um, defense has been our main uh, that pitching is what kept us in most games. On the madness on the play on the day, and those new learning appearance. Um, just go back to that. And, you know, at first, you know, guys are had fun. They, they will be. First and third one out. Go back to that. What you were told was kind of. Coach, uh, before you answer that, just want to remind everybody about the rules. I can gotcha. already officiate. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I, I, after watching the play, uh, I was as, as surprised, I think, as Chris and their first baseman were when they ran together. Because I'm thinking, avoid the catcher. And then he did. And then you look and say, well, he's not catching. Then the collision happened. You know, just kind of a surprise. But, you can't really dodge every fielder on the field. You're not looking for everyone like that. But I think they got the call correct, to be honest with you. I just wish uh, they would have conferred immediately instead of letting Delta State's coach talk for five minutes beforehand. But I do think they got it correct. It just was, you know, once they talked and then they called me out, I started just to defer because I knew what they were going to say. Uh, well, I started to defer because sometimes you don't always stay in the game when you go out after them. <laughs> Chris, what was your perspective on the play? Uh, did you see him? I mean, did you try to avoid him, or was it just one of those things where you were running hard the next thing you know you're on the ground? I did it. I thought it was going to fail. I looked up and saw it coming back. I just took off running with my head down, and then sound I ran into him. Turning one of the players on a tough game today, you know, six errors, is kind of one you feel like you maybe should have won. Um, but how do you get this out of your minds? You got a game tomorrow. Like, how do you get this out of your minds and kind of move around? You know, baseball is just one of those crazy games. Um, you know, anything can happen. And, you know, we just got to flush it, forget about it. Play one game at a time, one inning at a time, one pitch at a time. And, um, you know, just move on and just know that, you know, there's, we have it tomorrow. We have a, you know, we have another game to play. And, you know, we're not out of it yet. I think we're going to make a good run. Your thoughts on moving on, Coach? Well, we were joking earlier about I'm not sure if this team can win nine in a row anyway. So maybe losing will help us because we had to lose it in the regional to win four in a row. And that would have been our sixth win in a row. If we won out, it would have been nine or ten. So maybe we just got it out of the way now can go. But, you know, if your luck's going to run out eventually, uh, or you win a national championship on this stage, and uh, I'm with Nate there, you just got to keep playing. And we're, we're proud of the guys being here. It's not going to really worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, pitching wise, you know. Ross Whitley will pitch tomorrow right handed. Mm -hmm. And then Nate, I mean, uh, John Tuttle will still be available, and Craig Brooks, and then the rest of our bullpen is still available. I'm sorry, who will pitch tomorrow? Uh, Ross Whitley. Any other questions? Right, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.